Hey everyone, so I'm just taking a few minutes. This is Mel from Mel's Divination. Um, totally impromptu video. Not editing, no makeup on, it's cold, bad lighting. I just wanted to jump on real quick and um, talk about something that inspired me. Um, I've been listening a lot to other social media, um, spiritual people, as you guys know, and I've been listening to a blog on Spotify, not blog, podcast on Spotify called The Witch and the Medium, and I'm loving it, and I, I recently just started listening to it. Um, it was recommended, I believe, by the Witch of Wonderlust, who I've mentioned before, and um, I really recommend if you're interested in this kind of stuff to check it out. It's amazing. And Mystic Dylan said something on there about, on one of the episodes, about how when he was a kid, he used to have dreams or he used to see things in his house and it would scare him. And he was talking to the medium, who her name is Adela Levine, and she used to see things too when she was little, and it would scare her. And I usually listen to this podcast when I'm driving so that it can kill time. And I had this just like light bulb epiphany moment because as I've been doing more and more spiritual work, I'm starting to have these moments where I get these flashbacks of things of when I had psychic abilities or when I had these realizations as a little kid that, oh my God, that was a moment. That was a thing that I used to have that I didn't know that I had. Like I posted on Instagram about how I used to be, I've always been obsessed with the moon and I used to talk to the moon when I was a little girl and I used to say the moon followed me home to my mom. I've always talked about how much the moon loved me. Um, so that's something that I've always been done, always, since I was like two years old. And so I used to always have be this person that um, in my parents' house, we lived in a two-floor house, and my bedroom was upstairs. It was a cape, uh, cape style. And I shared, when I was really little, a bedroom with my brother. And you'd walk to the top of the stairs, and my, our bedroom was on the left, and my parents' bedroom was on the right. And I used to always see, and it's an old house, it's an old brick and mortar house, and it's it was built, I think, in the 50s, 1950s, maybe even in the 40s. And um, I always used to picture when I would walk up the stairs, come out of my parents' room, like a being, like a skeleton or a creature, a person, a spirit, and it would always scare me. I would always be afraid going up there at night by myself. And also, and then we're talking about when I was really little, three, four years old, maybe even five or six. And I always also in the middle of the night when everybody would be asleep, be really afraid of getting up to go to the bathroom. And Adela Levine was talking about it, that she gave herself a bladder infection because she would be afraid to get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. And I would always picture something was under my bed to grab me. And I know kids, everybody has things under their bed, but I always had something under my bed. Okay, strange. Hearing something walking, but the cat's right there. So that's interesting. Cat's right behind me. I don't know if you can see her. She's asleep. So I thought I just heard something walking. Interesting. Um, anyway, can't edit, no editing, so I'm going to keep going because I'm on a roll. <laughs> um, so I always thought I heard something underneath my bed. Like if I got down from my bed, I had kind of a high bed, right, risen, lifted up bed. So I would jump off of my bed and run for the door because I always thought there'd be a hand that would come out and grab me if I just stepped down off the bed. And when Dylan and Adela Levine were talking about this in their podcast, it just was like, oh my God, this was me. This was me as a little girl. This was me. And I've been having all these little like flashback moments from when I was a child that 
I had abilities that I wasn't just suddenly this person who had abilities. I've always had abilities and instead I just thought I was some kid who was a scared child. But really I saw things in my parents' house and maybe something actually happened there. I don't know because I ignored it as I got older. It's just really, really interesting. And it's memories that I completely pushed away after a while. It's just something that made me think. So I just wanted to share how many of you who have any kind of abilities that are readers out there. Um, I'm not a medium. At least I don't consider myself a medium. I may have some medium abilities, but I don't, I've never really practiced it. So I don't try to do readings for others. Um, so how many of you out there who have abilities or, or dabble in the world of abilities look back to when you were a kid and you were discouraged or, you know, not discouraged, like my parents were like, oh, you're crazy, but, you know, led to believe that maybe you were just being a scared little kid or you repressed memories and these memories come back and they make you, like they start clicking and it, it, it starts to confirm, oh my gosh, I actually was something. This actually was something. I'm just curious because I know I'm not alone. Clearly, I'm not alone. Dylan and Adela confirmed that for me. So there's got to be lots of other people. So comment below, share. If this resonated with you, subscribe, like. I'd love to hear your stories. Um, and I look forward to sharing more stories and hearing from you and learning and growing together. Thank you. Bye.